Before starting your aseptic transfer, you should disinfect your work area. Next, you should also wash your hands. If needed, a lab coat and gloves may also be worn. As you are about to begin your aseptic transfer, you should make sure that you have labeled your sterile bra tube. Then you should proceed to light your buttons and burner as shown in the video. Once lit, you will use the Bunsen burner to flame and sterilize your inoculating loop. The inoculating loop must turn red hot to ensure that it is sterile. Before you can proceed, you must allow the inoculating loop to cool off. To perform a broth to broth transfer while holding multiple tubes, you will hold both the original culture tube and the tube with the fresh broth in one hand. You will remove and hold both caps with the fingers on the hand holding the sterilized inoculating loop. Do not place either cap on the bench. Next, you should flame the openings of both of the tubes. Proceed to insert the cool sterile inoculating loop into the tube with the culture and pick up a small inoculum of bacteria. You will inoculate the fresh tube of broth as shown in the video. When you are finished, you will flame the openings of both tubes and replace the caps on both tubes. Next, you should flame the loop until it is red hot and then sit it down so that it can cool off. You are now finished with your aseptic transfer and your newly inoculated broth tube will be placed in the incubator. Just to recap, here are the steps one more time. 